Hi friends, we have decided to create a separate YouTube channel in order to have free access to complete Fillmore templates. The YouTube channel is called Fillmore Templates, as shown above. Please go there to subscribe, as the template for today's tutorial is already there and more will be uploaded soon. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire Welcome, let's start by going to effect to drag down a frame overlay 03 as shown then take a snapshot. Delete the overlay, then go to file. Under project settings, change the aspect to 1 ratio 1. Drag down the snapshot, click, then go to scale to unlock. Increase Y to 180 to have a full frame, and take a PNG snapshot as shown. Delete the snapshot. Then go to the file to change the aspect ratio back to 16 to 9. Now drag down both a picture background and the snapshot, then extend to 10 seconds. Click the snapshot, go up to scale to 80, then apply the keyframe to the position. Type minus 116 in position Y and 1474 in position X so that the picture will be on the right side. Now move the playhead to 1 second, then go up to change only position X to 0 so that the picture will animate from the right side. Further click the keyframe panel, highlight only the position points, then right click to apply easy in. Now go to mask, apply linear mask, then change rotation to 90. Position X to minus 415 and invert the mask below. You would notice the frame has split in half from the bottom. Let's preview. Further right click to copy. Add two video tracks then paste on track 4. Now, in order to have a complete frame with the same animation, click to untick the inverted mask. Move the playhead to the second keyframe, then drag down a picture and reduce it to 120 seconds as shown. Now click picture, go to AI tools to apply AI portrait to remove the background, then increase thickness to 13 and feather to 1 as you wish. Now go to basic to scale up to 107, then apply keyframe to position, and type minus 779 in position Y note that this animation depends on your picture. You can always adjust as it suits. Now move the playhead to 115 or 3 frames forward, then go up to only type 111 in position Y. Now move the playhead to 215 or 3 frames forward. Then go up to only apply keyframes to positions. Now move the playhead to 219 or 3 frames forward. Then go up to type minus 779 in position Y, which is the same with the first keyframe. Further, go to the keyframe panel, highlight all the points, then apply easy in. Afterward, go to effect, under shake effect, apply sideways 2, click, then change the frequency to 20 and untick RGB separate as shown, then preview. Now, depending on the number of images, copy and paste as many as you want. Now, press and hold the ALT key as you drag down pictures to change the picture on the timeline. Because of the differences in the pictures, the animations of the other pictures, apart from the first one, would look disorganized when you viewed them. So I moved the playhead to the second picture to adjust, depending on the picture. For example, because of the size, I scaled down to 90. For the first keyframe, I changed Y to minus 908, and for both the second and third keyframe to 1. 
Since the first keyframe is the same as the last, I also changed the position Y of the last keyframe to minus 908. For the third picture, because of the small size, I scaled up to 124. For the first keyframe, I changed Y to minus 668. And for both the second and third keyframes to 200. Since the first keyframe is the same as the last, I also changed the position Y of the last keyframe to minus 668. Fourth picture. Because of the small size and positions, I scaled down to 90. For the first keyframe, I changed X and Y to minus 154 and minus 668. And for both the second and third keyframes, to minus 154 and 17. Since the first keyframe is the same as the last, I also changed the position Y of the last keyframe to minus 154 and minus 968. Fifth picture. Because of the big size and positions, I scaled down to 80. For the first keyframe, I changed X and Y to 29 and minus 893. And for the second keyframe, to 29 and minus 25 for X and Y, respectively. Then delete the last two keyframe points so the picture would remain as the slides end. Now let preview. <music> Lastly drag down Spring Bloom's Pack Overlay O2 effect and extend then preview. Thanks for watching. The link to get the template for this tutorial is in the description. You are awesome.